Hello everybody and welcome to my first look at the premium edition for Farming Simulator 22. This is of course the early access version. A massive thank you to Giants for sharing it with me. This is actually released on the 14th of November, but yes, we get to have a look at it today, which is just so lovely. So yes, this is Zilonka, a map which is inspired by Central European regions. Let's get straight into it. Right, so this is where we spawn. This must be our yard, and as with all of my first looks that I ever do, I've never looked around this map before. This is all new to me. We're not actually going to be doing a map tour as such in this video. We're actually going to be starting the farming, but we will of course look at the yard and the machines that we start off with in detail. So we have the Fiat Agri Turbo DT16090 Power Shift. This is obviously a very chunky looking tractor and we do have the class trailer on the back of there and we do also start off with a lot of the uh, vegetable harvesting equipment as well so obviously i'm gonna have to get used to what all of this is but that looks to be the cedar for putting the carrots beetroot or red beet and parsnips into the ground this is definitely a harvester it's all by the wolf um so yeah single row so it's gonna be quite slow I guess but we can upgrade there is a self propel one in the game and we do have a disc cultivator here or a disc um, well basically just a disc harrow isn't it over here we have some chickens we actually do start off with 11 chickens that's nice hello chickens and that's their little coop just there we will of course have to keep giving them food and then we can collect the eggs from them we have a pallet fork, that's actually nice, that's uh, new. We have a three-point linkage pallet fork. So you don't even need a front loader to move pallets around. Very nice. And we do have a weight as well, 750 kilograms, which is definitely going to be required for when lifting heavy pieces of equipment on the rear three-point linkage. Okay, so we have our get-around truck just here. Look at this, the Lizard Pickup 1984. That's going to be really good for bringing home pallets of seed and maybe some bags of fertilizer. And also we could put some bales into here as well. This is a machine we're going to use quite a lot, so we don't need to look at all of the interiors uh, in a hurry because we're just going to experience them all over the entire series. And this is going to be a big series. And then we have our starting combine harvester over here is the Deutzfahr Top Liner. Uh, yes, the Premium Edition doesn't come with a new combine harvester because it is obviously primarily focusing on the vegetable crops but we've already got loads to choose from so that is no problem at all there's also new sprayers new cultivators new cedars loads and loads of stuff and yeah there's over 35 new machines in the premium edition alone so yeah let me just tab through and make sure i haven't missed any tractors oh we have look at this we've also got the zeta crystal 16045 and we do have a seed drill on the back of here so that's going to be uh, great for starting off if we want to put yes if we want to put a cereal crop in which actually I don't uh, this field would be better off having something like carrots put into it that's what I want to do I really want to focus on the new crop types so actually we'll start this up immediately and we'll drive it back to the yard because we're not going to do the easy option here which would just be to set off on a worker we're going to make sure we are experiencing the new features so there's the yard over there. Let's just go round. It looks like that field has already been cultivated, so uh, it's ready for ridging, which is of course one of the new features for when putting in these new crop types. I think it would make sense to start with carrots, but yeah, you can harvest the all three of those crop types with the same harvester. Okay, and we might need to build a shed at some point as well, a storage shed. That would be good. Heading back over here quickly, you can see we've got the house so we can rest here if we want to. And what do we have here? Ah, that's our wardrobe. So we can change our appearance or clothes. And we do have a weeder there and a trailer as well. How lovely. So just to very quickly clarify what we own, we have this area here. So we've got field 53, 52. Uh, looks like a nice grass field over here as well yeah here we own this that's nice and across the way there we do have the dealership so we don't have to travel far to pick up new machines zilonka see you soon november the 14th unless you're watching this video oh unless of course you're watching this 
on the 14th or afterwards. <laughs> I didn't think of that. And in case you're wondering about collectibles, I understand we do have an apple, a golden apple collectible system. So I'm just going to quickly drive down the road and see if I can find an apple. Uh, of course, if you do see any stuttering in this video, it will clear. It's because it's the first time I've loaded the map. It does this, and then it's super smooth after that. So, um, yeah, keeping my eye out for apples and I need to find out how this system actually works. The, the best places to look for collectibles is sort of in public areas, like on park benches, that sort of stuff. I can see we've got a nice little park. I think it is a park actually. Yeah. There's got to be a collectible in here. Let's just park there. I'm still zoomed in. Okay. Yeah, look, there's got to be one over there. It's like, it's calling for us. Okay, maybe there isn't. <laughs> um, right, we'll continue our search. Ah, oh, the play area. There's got to be one at the play area. You'd put an apple up at the top of the slide, wouldn't you? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with this. Maybe I'm going to have to jump cut and try and find one off camera. In the bin? Nah, you probably just find a core in there. Excuse me, madam, have you seen an apple? Yeah, it's very strange conversation starter. Um, oh, come on, there must be an apple somewhere. Yes, it's mine. I found an apple. There, there it is. The golden apple. Um, so, when you, when you collect these, the decorative golden apples have been removed from the two trees on the local park's lake island. Oh, that must be where we've just been. Can you find all 50 apples and restore the trees to their former glory? You found a golden apple, just 49 to go, and it took me forever to find that. So, it's going to be relocated, is it, to the tree? This must be the island, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's nothing else that could be the island. And we do have two trees, so can we see our apple? We can! Our apple is like a Christmas bauble. Wow, imagine when these are absolutely laden with golden apples. Oh, there's a stalk. Very good timing. Anyway, that's how the collectible system must work. So, that's enough of that. Let's start farming, because I'm sure that's why you're here. Um, it would make perfect sense to get this field underway, because it's ready. Um, let me just unfold the combine. Although I don't know... I don't want to harvest it that way. I want to harvest it the other way, because that's going to be so slow. It's a good job for a worker. We can cart. Now, I've got seasonal growth switched off. We don't need seasonal growth on for this. Um, or do we? Uh, we could always enable it at a later date. Right, so there is a, a post there, pole, which is obviously going to be a little bit of a problem for a worker. As for the straw, we don't have a baler. So, well, we could always just cultivate it back in again. So that's all working nicely. It's nice that we do start off with two trailers too. That's nice. Okay, let's get into the Fiat tractor. As always, very nicely detailed. So, I'm just going to check and see which is our more powerful tractor. I would guess that this one is more powerful than the Zeta. Of course, yes, yeah, some of you may pronounce that as Zeta. I just say Zeta. It, it seems like a 50-50 split. Because we've been through this over all the years of playing FS, and it's just everybody has a different way of saying it. So uh, you just have to forgive me if you're a, a Zeta fan. I always say Zeta. So anyway, let's have a look. That's a new machine for this as well. Little 59 horsepower tractor. It looks very agile. Anyway, into the medium tractors. There they are. So the Zeta is 150, and the Fiat is 160 to 180. Ours is the 160, I believe. So it looks like we've got room for improvement. We can actually reconfigure it, we can put a new engine in, and make it more powerful. 5 tons versus 6.7 tons. And yes, in case you wanted to see the self repel machine for harvesting the new crops, there it is. Absolutely huge. 
and I think we will actually be going with this because even at this size it's only a 4.0 which is 3 meters so I actually we probably will just try out that one and then sell it and then we'll rent so we're going to attach to the ridger because as I said that field is cultivated uh, wait do we have a ridger? now if you ridge you get a bonus fertilizer application that looks to be the cedar so maybe we don't have a ridger let's go and get one this is going to be in the vegetable technology uh, right so let's just see what we own exactly we have that special planter not very big but it will do for now and I think we have uh, I thought it was that one no this one we have this harvester but I would like to ridge so let's get a ridger we have two. Right, they take a bit of power. 160 and 270, wow. But I think this would be nice because of the uh, the fertilizer that you get. So this tool is used to create ridges into which you can plant vegetables afterwards. Wheel weights on the tractor are recommended for use. Okay. So I think, as I said, I think we are okay to just put this straight into the ground because that field is cultivated. But this is new to me as well. And there it is. I love how close the store is. But it's, an, it's a very expansive map, this, and it's going to be nice to explore it all. But we have lots of time to do that, because as I said, this is going to be a big series. I have no intention of cutting this short or anything. It's going to be good. So we need to keep an eye on the combine as well. It's a nice, cute little yard, this. Yeah, it's quite slow, this tractor. We, we could actually put the fear on this instead. But then again, I might want to use both. Okay. Yep, so that is ridging. pulling it absolutely no problem at all. So you can imagine if this was on a worker, it would probably get through this job in no time at all. We would soon have the field ridged. Yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is a cultivated field and I'm not just ridging a drilled field. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, it's just cultivated. So um, it needs to be done. But we've started farming. You can see the lovely uh, surroundings. They are nice. I'm going to stick that on a worker. We should probably bring this home. I'm sure they won't appreciate me dumping it next to their local park. They might think I'm the apple thief. I might do a dedicated tour video. But we are going to see the whole map anyway in this series. And I'm going to be putting videos out pretty fast, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Always appreciated. Right. Yeah, I love the uh, the locality of the, the yard to the fields that we start off with. Very, very nice. If we get the combine emptied, it should be able to finish the field without stopping. Then we can put this tractor onto the drill. Onto the cedar. I guess it is a drill, but we'll put carrots into that field over there, and we'll probably put red beet into this one. Of course we have contracts as well, so we don't have to actually wait for our own to be ready, we can experience it, these new crops in other people's fields. Looking good. Looking very good. Right, so I'll be out of the combine's way. There we go. Good, right. So, let's just have a quick look at the fertilizer map. Right, so maybe you only get the application when you put the, the crop in itself. Let me just double check this. 
Creating ridges. Before sowing the new crop varieties, it is now possible to create ridges with the Grimmy or Grimmer GF800 ridging equipment. This new step not only makes the vegetable field look more realistic, but it also adds a fertilizer stage. Okay, so it must be uh, coming soon, I guess, when we actually start putting the crop in. So we'll leave that there. Should give that tractor enough space to turn around, hopefully. And we will go and attach to our vegetable crop cedar. It is, of course, something that I would like to upgrade. It's nice that we start off with one, but it's on the small side. So you can see the default crop type there is red beet, which I'm guessing is just beetroot. Carrots, and then we've got parsnips. So I'm going to do carrots in here, as mentioned previously. It's so small, actually, you could probably put this on like the smallest tractor ever. <laughs> we could do with another tractor. In this series, I will be buying used machines. That's actually a really good buy. Might be worth getting that. We'll see how we go. Yeah, actually, I think I am going to go for that. Because then it frees up this tractor, the Fiat, for doing cultivating in this field. Yes, yeah, so that was a worthy purchase, I would say. Just cross the road. Do we start off with any seed? We can check this in a second. I don't think we do. Okay. Right, so if we go into here, we can see if we have any of these bags. No, we don't. And as for these ones, no. Okay, so we are going to purchase one of these. We'll have to uh, head back over to the store in a second. Well, unless it doesn't take, maybe it takes forever to consume it. Who knows? Because we do have 16 litres in there. And I can see the fertilizer application being applied. If only we had a pallet fork, like a front loader pallet fork, because <laughs> um, then we could put it into the back of our little truck here. I guess we could pick up a bag with this one. We'll have to see. If I align with it correctly. Yeah, it's not designed for bags. It's designed for pallets. But you know what I'm like, I always try and push the limits. Maybe slide it underneath. Okay, I won't lie, I did cheat. I did put it onto there, but we have got it onto there, and we are transporting it home. So that's going to be necessary at some point. So we'll just position it over here. And at this stage, I don't think we are going to get a baler. I don't think it's going to be a priority. So we will start the cultivation work in that field over there. I could have just chopped it. But it doesn't actually make a difference. Yeah, I don't know how heavy that cultivator is, so we're going to put the weight on anyway. There we go. I would say it's quite heavy. Certainly worth having a weight. Does that come under? No, that will actually come under disc arrows. It weighs 3.1 tons. Yeah, that is quite heavy. So the combine has almost finished. As we head up here, we'll see how far in front the ridger is compared to the cedar. We don't want the cedar to catch up or try and overtake. That would just be bad. Because we want the ridges to be done so that we can get the fertilizer. Free fertilizer. Look at that, three tractors working together. What a happy little farm we have. 
Yeah, that looks great. I love it. That is the key to our success. We've got to have all tractors moving at all times. And combines, in fact. We have four machines on the go. Anyway, I'm sure you're sick to death of hearing me talk, so I'm going to stick this on a time lapse and we're going to cultivate the rest of this field. Okay, so we have still got quite a lot of grain in the combine, so we'll just fill up the trailer. It probably will fill it to the top, uh, and then we can come back, we can finish the cultivation work. Over here, it's all looking good. The ridger is getting close to the end, and I did actually spot that the default settings were enabled, so it was basically buying diesel and buying seed, which is not good but I did pick up on that fairly quickly. So yeah, it should be consuming what is in the cedar and the diesel in the tank. And yeah, it doesn't seem to consume the seed that fast. So yeah, it looks like our bag of seed in the yard there is gonna last for quite some time. But maybe after this field, we'll replace this cedar with a bigger one. Gonna have to start upgrading. Um, Cause we're obviously we're gonna get some money in for the wheat. Let's just check the current price for wheat. Uh, we can send it on the train, I think that is. Erlingrat 939, that's all right. And no, it did not all fit. We have a small amount left in the combine harvester. So where do we go? Let's discover where this silo is. It's a big map, actually, this is huge. So that is where the train will go to. So if we trace that back I'm guessing Green Pool East is one of those locations uh, or maybe the only location uh, yeah probably so yeah let's tag that and we'll head off in that direction it's not too far to go just over the fields there I always think it's so exciting because we're at the beginning of a series and you just never know how it's going to pan out. If you're watching this video like two years or even a year after it's been published, you can go all the way to the last episode and you'll see what a transformation we've made. How far did we get with this series? But if you're watching this at the release time, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people are, uh, you're going to uh, have to guess how it's going to end up. It's always a fascinating feeling. Right, we might be able to take a shortcut here across this little bit of uh, this bit of a dirt track we've got. Interesting. Oh, which way do we go? I'm going to go this way. It just feels right. This must be the way to go. Come to think of it, I probably could have just followed the track from the field and bypassed the road. So I'm not going to finish this episode without showing you the fields of the uh, new crop types growing because 
other farmers do have them growing. I've seen red beet, so I know where they are. I need to look into the carrots and parsnips. Um, okay, so we could go all the way to the end of there and cut across, but I'm just going to drive across this field. How naughty of me. And we're going to have to request the train. But not yet. Because we have more to bring across. I'll just make sure this is the right place. Yeah, I think that... Yep, yeah, perfect. So that's the button you press to request the train. That's empty. I'll see you back over at the combine. Ah, good. The ridger has finished. So that needs to be brought across to this field. Uh, we might as well start it off, actually. Just start the combine's engine so it can unload. There we go. And, yeah, oh, it's going to probably kick up a fuss with the first pass because we do have that pole at the end. So, no, I'll put it sort of here. I think it might be an electricity pole. That's still getting on fine. Uh, that's finished. So, we'll head off. Oh, here's the train now. Really, we want to be stopping that because otherwise we're going to have to wait for ages. Let me just quickly run over here. Request the train. Yep, so it's going to reverse. We've got all of our wheat in the silo now. So now we play the waiting game. There it is. It's just having to stop. Now, of course, we are going to be doing all of the productions which are new in the premium expansion as well. Uh, obviously, there's no point in buying these yet. We can't afford them, and we need to actually get the crops first. But we've got lots to choose from. Soup factory. Preserved food factory. Potato processing plant. And then we've got uh, new ones, well, just new models for this particular map like spinnery, dairy, bakery, all that sort of stuff. So we will be getting those in good time. And here is the train. Right, I'll try not to fall out. So we'll position that underneath the, uh, the pipe, which is just here. There we go. 13,553 litres, which is just 15% of the overall capacity of this, but not to worry, it's just one field. Don't know how far we need to travel. That's a little distance, it's uh, that blue dot at the top of the map near 67. But the train is actually a good way of looking around a map, although this train doesn't go... It doesn't circumnavigate the map, like some do. Yeah, so we're about to be thrown out, and we're going to get paid. Strange combination, I know, but <laughs> that's how it works. Right, watch the money. 12,754 pounds. So we're back up to 51,646. Not bad. So I'm now going to show you the new crop types. Uh, I think we do have them all in various locations. Yeah, so I'll just go to the carrots first of all. Here's a field of carrots. Still growing. But it just looks so lush. Very green. Okay, next, red beet. Red beet field. Again, all very lush. And finally, parsnips. A much denser crop. That's the parsnips. So yeah, they're the new crop types for the premium edition. Let's get the tractor returned home. Need to pack things up. And we'll finish the cultivation. Uh, can I nip in behind this tractor? Yeah? Okay, good. <laughs> and the cedar has almost finished. So by the end of this episode, we'll have one finished field 
which is also fertilized and one which is obviously a work in progress so I think we will build a shed here at some point in the near future we just need to get the money first need to find the funds and we will definitely try out that harvester but I think we'll sell it and then lease the big one okay off we go we'll pop the combine here There we go, and we just have like half a pass left to do of the cultivation. And this tractor loves it, it's absolutely flying. Good, so the seeding is done, or the sowing is done. I've got half a pass and I still missed a piece. But I have thoroughly enjoyed recording episode number one of this series and yeah episode two is going to be coming out very very soon so you do not need to wait long at all in fact chances are when you're watching this video it's already out we will have to think of a suitable area to turn into our production yard maybe actually here it needs to be relatively flat to begin with anyway there we go just pull out in front of that car Put the beacons on for a very, very short journey. And here we are. <laughs> We're home. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, of course, the link is down below if you want to buy it or, or pre-order it, depending on when you're actually watching this video. And until the next one, see you again very soon. Bye for now.